Hey guys, welcome back to Brave by Design where we talk about all things fashion, everything from design to style. Today I wanted to take you guys on a journey of styling jumpsuits. Now I love jumpsuits, I think they're a really great statement piece, a little bit more of that functional formal wear but can also be really casual which is what I love how versatile these pieces can be from day to night, formal to casual wear. I really love that. So I'm just going to get right into it. First is this consigned theory one piece halter top. It makes me feel very fun and flirty, but I'm just going to start layering. I'm just going to start layering onto this piece showing you guys how I do it and hopefully this gives you inspiration to play around in your closet, play dress up, be bold, beautiful and brave because you are. Just embrace it. So let's go. Okay, first I'm going to start with this thrifted belt I got in Rhode Island at a thrift store. Since this is a bigger belt for me, it sits low, which is where the belt hoops have already been set. So that's nice. So I don't have to wear the, the given belt with this jumpsuit. There is a given belt with this. But I want to start with this because this really breaks up the solid black color. And it also really plays into that very like 90s, 90 does 70s you know, disco jumpsuit. So this is where I'm going to start off. Black and gold, keeping it very neutral and simple. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, next I want to take this layered chain belt. I got this at Princeton Consignment over the summer, but this is a really great belt. This was like a whim purchase. I did not think I would use it that much, but I was like, ooh, I love a gold chain and I don't have a lot. This has become a really great styling piece for me. I love finding those pieces that wind up being so important in your wardrobe when you're experimenting with your style. So this one, I love how it just keeps adding on those layers. Very funky. Good for dancing. So now I'm going completely like 70s mod disco vibes with my faux fur jacket. I did not thrift this. This was a special purchase for myself this past winter on sale at Macy's. This is the perfect jacket for this. I just feel very mod in it. You know, it's that big furry collar that I love. And this is a lot of black, but it makes a statement. The faux fur collar makes a statement. The gold belts make a statement. And I'm going to keep making a statement with some gold purses. I've got a couple of options, beaded black or gold purses. First one, if I really want to go very funky, I really love this because it's just that unique shape. How freaking cute is that? It's so cute. I feel like this is adorable. And then of course I've got my Whitey and Davis vintage handbag. That's also adorable. Come on now, it just glistens, very disco ball. If you're going for that disco fever look. I could also do a couple of others. So I've got three others that I would consider. This one with the subtle gold, which really mirrors this outfit. But it doesn't make as much of a statement, but if you're not trying to have a super bold bag, this would be the one that I would choose. That beautiful beading and the beautiful gold accent. Also, you can see all these purses up close and personal, find out where I got them, how much I paid in my 22 beaded bags for 2022. So check it out. Next, I could do this one, which is a little bit more practical. This one is a little bit more of a practical shoulder bag, actually fits over the shoulder. So a great choice. Got this from Goodwill. Or I could do this one, completely beaded black bag, but it doesn't stand out against the outfit. So this one is probably the, the least likely one that I would choose. However, I brought it out because, you know, I could add like a little accent to it. I could add like a scarf to it to make this stand out as well. But this does go very nicely with it, with this outfit. So this is the first look. Next. Okay, this is the next jumpsuit. This is a beautiful, I don't know if the shadow is kind of offsetting this piece, but this is a beautiful, stretchy, chocolate brown, sparkly jumpsuit. 
I got this from H&M because these are pieces that I know are going to be in my wardrobe for a long time and it's a retail fast fashion investment for myself. My wardrobe is a mix of thrifted, everyday fashion, a little bit of high fashion, but that's typically if I have high fashion, it is thrifted. So this is where we're starting. Let's add on. So this belt, like I said, is a gem of mine. I love this belt. Look at how it adds to the sparkle. Like, come on now. And it just really helps to define the waist, gives you those curves if that's what you're looking for. And I think it also plays off of the 70s disco theme. Let me keep adding on. So a statement necklace is something that I think is highly underrated and particularly one that isn't like these huge beads. I'm not really into that. I'm more into a big medallion, very classic looking statement necklace. I think this is great. Let me just put this on and then I'll come back. Okay, so I chose this gold medallion necklace because the hanging parts are the perfect length for this v-neck that I have going on here and it also just complements the drapiness of the belts chains. So I love the connection between the two very subtle accents but very significant. Okay, so my complete outfit idea for this piece is my maroon faux fur kind of like sweater jacket. It's very thin, but it's warm. It's pretty warm, honestly. But I love the combination of these two colors. I really do. I think it's a beautiful combination. And this is very casual, so it kind of dresses this down, but it's also very dressy because it's a faux fur. Oh, it's so soft. And then to finish off these outfits, obviously you gotta pick a purse. Shoes, I can't show you guys right now. I really, I don't have my shoes with me. This one, super cute. Like just easy and it stands out against the outfit. Or this one gold disco this one's a little bit more dressy similar to this one similar to this one these ones are a little bit more dressy and then ugh, i still haven't taken the tag off of this ah still haven't taken the tag off of this one but this little pink one i think is really cute to add with this is it not it's different but i think it's so cute and this is what i meant when I said in my first videos, which again, you can see on my channel. Maybe I'll link it down below. But I said that this one, yes, it looks very springy, but it can also be a beautiful fall piece. And this is definitely a fall outfit. And last but certainly not least is this little fuzzy number. My mom got this for me for Christmas and it is this little fuzzy bag. It is so soft, if you guys could feel it. It is so soft, but it's got this long gold chain and then it's got these little top handles. So if you want to hold it, it could be like a little handheld, just easy, comfy, keep your hands warm or soft, kind of like a little muff. Um, but if you want it to be a little bit more useful, cross it over and this complements the gold chains as well. So everything's working here. Everything's working together and I love it. <laughs> this one was fun. Okay, I have one more jumpsuit and then I've gotten a couple of requests for overalls and I don't know if I'm gonna make this a separate video or if I'm going to add on to the end of this video with some overalls, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. Okay, this is the last one. Last jumpsuit, I'll say. But this is the second H&M jumpsuit. This is black velvet. I love Velvet. I love velvet. I'll admit it. I love it. I think that velvet is such a classic fabric to have in your wardrobe. Again, very transitional, but velvet is a really great choice for a fabric for an evening look. But I'm gonna keep this one really simple with this thrifted chain belt, very 80s. This belt, I got on my trip when I was in Colorado, giving me a little bit of Versace vibes with the coins, but not exactly. But I love this and I think it's just easy. Very easy and cute. 
I feel like you don't need a purse with this outfit because what I'm thinking is this is like someone's dinner party at someone's house. You're going, you're taking off your shoes, but you want to look cute and you want to be comfy. This is like wearing PJs. Squat. You can lounge, you can just like chill standing up, you you know, it's very easy. That's the last jumpsuit look that I have for you guys. <sighs> Should I do overalls? I don't know. Er, I don't know. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have stayed till the end, you guys are amazing. I appreciate you all so much. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below so that you don't miss another episode. Also subscribe down below because you will see overalls. I promise you, they are coming. I've also had some requests for thigh high stockings, how to style those. So I'm gonna try and incorporate that into my coming videos. I've been kind of slacking on the longer videos because a lot of changes have been happening in my life, so it's exciting. But you know, I'm I'm trying to get back to my passion projects, my hobbies, and I love doing these videos, so I hope you guys enjoy them. And always remember to be bold, beautiful, and brave because you are, and don't you ever forget it. That's all for today. Thank you guys again, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Okay, I decided to give you guys a little overall styling. So I love these black velvet vintage gap overalls for the winter time. Very staple in my wardrobe. They're comfortable. I think I wore them on the holidays, like for Thanksgiving or something. Very comfortable. But if I want to make it a little cute, have this little peephole with the crop top so that it kind of offsets the baggier nature of these overalls. But I just love them, they're so comfortable. Oh, and I understand why I get requests to have them from my lovely subscribers. You guys are awesome. But with this, if I could find my big hoops, I would wear my big silver hoops. I think I lost a pair. This is the overall feature for today's episode. Um, I actually just recently purchased a pair of jean short overalls. So look out for that coming in the summertime. A little summer overalls styling video. Definitely stay tuned for that. Hit the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on that episode because I've got some really fun graphic tees and scarf styling, all of the fun things that you wear in the summertime. So. I'm excited to style that up for you guys. Anyways, that was the little bonus feature of this episode. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.